Thank you. Oral questions. Question oral, the honorary member for Foothills. The Prime Minister likes to say that he takes foreign interference in our elections seriously, but in fact, he's embraced it. This started with a $200,000 donation to the Trudeau Foundation, and it has ballooned into a large clandestine transfer of funds from the dictatorship in Beijing to influence Canadian elections. The Prime Minister has known about Beijing's influence in two federal elections in Canada, and he's done nothing about it. Will the Prime Minister please explain why he has allowed Beijing's influence into Canadian elections to escalate? The Honourable Prime Secretary to the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs, Infrastructure and Communities. Madam Speaker, just because the Conservatives continue to repeat this narrative doesn't actually make it true. We have taken the issue of foreign interference incredibly seriously since we formed government. In in fact, foreign interference was raised when the leader of the opposition was the minister responsible. But what did they do, Madam Speaker? Absolutely nothing. That's why when we came into office, we made sure that our democratic institutions were built strong and robust to protect Canadians from the foreign interference threat. I was hoping that we would start properly. I just want to remind members that when somebody else has the floor, that others shouldn't be speaking uh, during that time. The Honourable Member for Foothills. Well, here's the fact. According to Global News, Canadian security officials gave officials in the Prime Minister's office a classified and urgent briefing weeks before the 2019 election. This briefing was a stark warning to the Liberals that one of their candidates was compromised and allegedly part of Beijing's uh, influence network. The Prime Minister did nothing. In fact, this candidate was still allowed to run, despite those stark warnings. Can the Prime Minister say who that candidate was, and is he a member of his current Cabinet or caucus? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, I have outlined numerous occasions all of the measures that we have continued to take to address the issues of foreign interference, but let me introduce a fact to that Honourable Member. It was just this week that the Leader of the Opposition said, quote, of course the previous Conservative government did nothing about foreign interference because it was not to its partisan advantage to do anything about it. Madam Speaker, those, the fact that the Conservative Leader is actually admitting to the fact that this is nothing more than a partisan issue for them. We reject that premise and we are going to protect our democratic institutions for all Canadians. Once again, uh, there are individuals who are speaking who shouldn't be speaking because I didn't recognize them. I'm sure that they would want to hear the answer because we know that there's going to be a follow-up question. The Honourable Member for Foothills. 2019, Canadian security officials gave a briefing to the Prime Minister's office that a Liberal candidate was implicated in Beijing's foreign interference network, and yet the Prime Minister turned a blind eye to potential interference in the federal election. And even yesterday, Canadian security officials said everyone plays a key role in protecting Canada's democracy from foreign interference, including the Prime Minister. So will the Prime Minister unveil who in his office was briefed about a compromised Liberal candidate, and will he unmuzzle his Chief of Staff and let her testify at the committee? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, I'm really glad the member opposite raised the fact that everyone has a responsibility to deal with foreign interference. I want to ask that the Leader of the Opposition actually unmuzzle himself and talk about the fact that he has his own caucus members involved and meeting with far-right organizations that CSIS has warned that domestic uh, foreign interference in our elections is a very real threat. Will the members opposite, will the opposition leader become unmuzzled and actually condemn his front bench today? Oh. 